Well, other jobs take precedence because they, they pay so well. But I love comics so much, I can't not do some every year. I, I just did an eight-page story for uh, Thomas Jam and Tim Bradstreet that they're going to revive Alien Worlds, and I, then I did a cover for that. And so I always try to do something to keep my hands in comics each year, even though it doesn't pay. It's just I just enjoy it so much. It's one of my favorite mediums. Everything I do by this point in my career, everything I do is stuff I really want to do and stuff I'm very passionate about. There's occasionally a film will come along that I would love to do that I don't get to do, like. Before it was published, someone sent me Jurassic Park in galley form. And they said, read this book, but don't look at the last page until you've read the entire book. So, what is that all about? So I start reading the book and I'm like, oh my God, what a great story. And, oh, this is Michael Crichton. I know they're gonna make a movie out of this. Man, I, I know all the people he based these characters on. They're all friends of mine from the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology. And, and it's dinosaurs, and I know dinosaurs, and theme parks. I've been designing theme parks for Disney for three years. It's like it plays to all my strengths. And, and I thought, this is the most perfect film for me to design. And then I got to the last page, and there Michael Crichton acknowledges me as the inspiration for the book. Wow. And I thought, I'll never get it. There's an axiom in Hollywood, the more perfect you are for a project, the less likely it is you'll get it. But that is the only film I ever actually pursued. All the others just, they came to me and asked me. But that was one I tried to get. And that's also another Hollywood axiom. The more you want something, the less likely it is you'll get it. Because in Hollywood, they're sort of like big babies and they always want what they think they can't have. And if they thought they couldn't have me for Jurassic Park, I might have been hired. I think we are right now in a golden age of comedy. It is extraordinary. You can write about any subject matter. I mean, Harvey McCarr wrote about being a filing clerk and made it absolutely riveting and fascinating. You can work in any style. You want to do your comics as woodblock prints, you can do that. You can do them as watercolor paintings, you can do them as oil paintings. There are no limits now. And so, because of that, I think, in, a, in one way, comics are much more important than and deeper and more valuable art form than motion pictures. With motion pictures, it's called the movie business. It's not called the movie arts. It's the movie business. And it is a collaborative medium. And it's as good, the product that you put out is as good as its weakest link. You can do your best work as a production designer or as a writer or director and the editing can screw it up or, or a bad performance from an actor can screw it up. Whereas with comics, you are in total control and you can create whatever world you want to if you've got the time and the information. And so I think it, it just makes it uh, a little more honest and a little more, uh, just a little deeper. Uh, the possibilities of, of depth are, are greater than for film.